Coming from my previous video which showed a very hard dungeon clear using the stall strategy, there have been a few questions who are replaceable and who aren't. After a few multiple testing with different compositions, I can say that each unit is actually replaceable. As a disclaimer, keep in mind that this composition is important due to the current restrictions of the game. At the time of this video, we currently are restricted by the units available and stats easily achievable for most people. These are controlled by the max gear rank, player level, and ascension stars. Currently, we can achieve gear rank 7 and it's required to max or find them for each of the units. The highest level, high skill levels are also ideal. With better units, this is achievable around level 55 or lower, but for some units and compositions, a higher level may be required. First, let's look at the original composition from our previous video. Yui, Maho, Chika, Yukari, and Miyako. It's important to understand the major roles that they provide. First, we have two AoE healers, which are Yui and Chika. Second, we have a tank who can self-sustain, and that is Miyako. Third, we have two single target healers. In this composition, we have Maho and Yukari. Yukari also provides an additional support with her Union Burst with Magic Damage Mitigation and TP Regeneration for your team. As a side note, I don't recommend replacing Yukari in this particular strategy. She should allow a lower level threshold for clearing and provides plenty of support. She's a good long term investment anyway, so just invest in her. After different iterations, the generic composition we can use is 2 AoE healers, 1 tank, one single target healer, and one tank or single target healer. We can now start introducing different units that can fit in these roles. Here are some of the units that I have tested with my limited resource. For AoE healers, we have Yui, Chika, Nozomi. For single target healers, we have Maho, Yukari, Shizuru. For tank, we have Miyako, Pekorin, Kuka, and Nozomi. If your unit doesn't show up and it fills a particular role, it's probably because I haven't personally tested it myself due to my limited resource. If you do use it and still doesn't work out, usually it is a level problem. In the worst case scenario, they probably don't synergize well. Do let us know in the comment section however if it does work out for you and help the community out. But wait, what about the F2P meta? You baited me. I don't have all the units here. Hold up, hold up, calm down. Let's assume you're probably the unluckiest or luckiest person in this and somehow, no matter what you do, you keep getting Lima dupes on a tent pole and nothing else. First, since you're checking this video out how to beat the boss, I'm going to assume you can reach this boss in the first place or have at least unlocked the very hard dungeon difficulty. That means you have a team capable enough to carry you through the main quest chapter 714 normal. Usually, this same team can also help you reach up to floor 5, 7, or 9 in the very hard mode dungeon, but then you see yourself stuck and can cannot beat the next battle. If you can't reach floor 9 on your own, feel free to borrow our support from your clanmate to help you carry your team. This, You can actually borrow them from starting from floor 1 of the dungeon and you only have to pay once to keep using them until you finish the current dungeon with them. The HP carries over, so just don't let them die. Okay, let's say you're ready for the next step. You can consistently reach uh, floor 9 on your own but is missing that last step to clear the dungeon. You're the unluckiest person who kept rolling limas, or luckiest, I don't judge, and just don't have the party composition to, for, to set up for the boss. Here are some free-to-play compositions that you can use. First things first, let's talk about what you have. The game gives you Yui and Pekorin. You can raise them to 2 stars by farming hard mode main quests. I don't have Yukari, Kuka, Chika, Nozomi, Miyako. I understand that you keep getting all those Lima dupes and I can't blame your luck. For Chika, yeah, she can be purchased with clan battle but no one wants to do that because everyone and their grandparents say to max Makoto first. But that's where your clan comes in to help you. Power their Chika because you've been blessed by Lima nonstop. Then you have Dungeon Coin Income Daily. You can buy the other in the Dungeon Coin Shop. 
Vigor can be obtained with 15 charge which costs 2400 dungeon points. She can also be raised to 2 star for another 30 shards. At this point by now, if you still haven't gotten the hint that you should get Yukari, it's the best time to do so. Kuka can be obtained with 45 shards which costs 7200 dungeon coins in total. Nozomi can be obtained with 145 charge which costs 23200 dungeon coins in total. The same goes to Maho. Miyako is obtained from Princess Arena but she's a different progression from the rest which is which we are prioritizing for the dungeon coins. For most people, they'll have a faster and easier progress with dungeon coins compared to Princess Arena coins. But I'm leaving that option there. Free to play method with Nozomi instead of Kuka consists of this stem composition. Kiwi, Yokori, Nozomi, Pekurin, Miyako. With Miyako coming from the support from clan. In this situation, Nozomi takes the role of an AoE healer instead. I've tried the composition of Yui, Chika, Yukari, Nozomi, Pekurin, and it wasn't working out very well due to not enough self-sustain for Nozomi. Somehow Nozomi ends up being in front of Pekurin in the battle, taking full damage despite Pekurin showing in front of the party. UI. They only have 5 distance difference and Pekurin starts behind Nozomi, and this is likely due to how the boss is positioned. Final tips when doing this boss. If auto fails, do manual and try to adjust how you order your union bursts. Try to save union bursts before round ends. If possible, keep Yukari's union burst available or close to full just before the round ends if the boss does not burst. You can purposely avoid or delay union burst on some units, for example Nozomi or Pekarion at position 2, so that Yukari's TP boost ability will go to other units who will likely need it. For example, to Yukari herself or to Yui. You can delay Union Burst self-healing of some tanks, for example on Kuka or Miyako, so that Maho or Yukari or Shizuru heals will focus on them instead. If it seems like you're stuck in a bad loop where the boss uses Burst either too slow or too fast, you can offset the boss's AI pattern by sacrificing some units, for example putting one unit that will die immediately. Yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I didn't want to make the video long. So far, I do stream this game every weekday. Make sure to check out my Twitch channel. Link will be down below. I plan to make more Princess Connect content, so make sure to follow or subscribe on either channels. See you guys next time.